Imagine if you could build a custom way to generate the apps in our robot. Well, that is possible. Hi, my name is Guilherme Mira and welcome to the TechMaker Show. Today, I will teach you how you can build your own workflow to generate the apps in your robot. So, let's go to the screen. So, I will use a template that I had published in the global marketplace. We have some things to settle before we start building the workflow. First, we need to go to settings, general, and we need to enable the HTML elements. We get back here to plugins. We need to download a plugin. We search for PDF. We will choose this PDF screenshot image. We install. Get back to the design tab. Now we need to choose element we want to generate the PDF. So I want to generate PDF of the uh, client's profile. Here I have already built client pop-up. So we have some informations here. We have the photo, the client's name, the birthday, into a group, into a group. Now we can give an ID, we can just call um, client. Now we need to add a button. Let me just hide this dashboard, find the uh, group finds. Here we have some information like uh, number of new users, some charts, and here we have the repeating group with the uh, client's data. Okay, so we need to add a button inside this group and just let me just adjust a little bit. Now we can add a button. Add the group of the European group. What I want to do is when I click this PDF button, the PDF will be generated and downloaded in the computer. Default have to open the pop-up and then generate the PDF. So what we need to do, create something, um, we need to add a pop-up just to show the current user that the PDF is being downloaded. So like download loading PDF. Change the style a little bit. Can add a, an icon. Just change this icon to uh, this one. We can make it uh, roll date. Because this pop up will appear when the, you click. PDF button because to do it this the right way we need a um, time to open the pop-up with this client data and to generate the PDF and time to close all of that. Okay, you're gonna understand a little bit. I just uh, pop up, download the app. Now we can go to workflow. We need to create three um, custom events. One to close, uh, one to generate the PDF, 
want to close the client pop-up and want to close the download PDF pop-up. So first one is to let me create PDF type of thing. It's gonna be client. Okay. So here we have add an action. We get back here to plugins element now we can choose file name that is going to be you know, um, current workflow client name okay here we need to settle at least 800 and at least 1000 or 1,800 the element ID is going to be client and we are ok now we need to create another one to just hide client show client pop up And its name is going to be time point top up. And another one to close the time download pop up. Okay. And we can add uh, an action, a height. And now Pop up download PDF. Now we need to get back here, add our workflow to this button. First, we want to open, show the pop up download PDF. Now we want to show the Show the client PDF. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. We need to show the pop up show client display data in this uh, pop up. The display is going to be the uh, parent group client. Now we need to go to uh, custom events. We need to shadow this create PDF and uh, the workflow data is going to be the parent group client. We're going to delay this to uh, five seconds. Okay. Now, when you click to the, this PDF button, it's going to show the uh, pop-up download PDF. It's going to show the client's pop-up. It's going to display this the information of the parent group uh, client. We're going to create the PDF. Then, we need to show another custom events to close everything. Hide this client pop up. I'm gonna give six seconds and another one to close to hide the download pop up. Seven seconds. Okay, now it's time to see if everything is working. Click review. Client here in the button. Let's click and see if it's working. Okay, as you all guys saw, it's working. Now you have another way, a new way, a totally different way to generate PDFs in your Google Apps.
that's it for today guys. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media. All my links are in the description below. Thanks for joining me and see you next video.